In the kitchen, in the kitchen with Shane Harris, PKA Chef Stano. And you see what's going on right here? Who can guess what's going on? Okay, let me let you in on the secret. I'm making some oven grill pork chop pasta. You see, I have my garlic right here, my country, my pepper right here, add pepper, onion, bell pepper, multicolor, and I have scallion right here. I have thyme right here. I have my pork chop, as you can see. This is where I get that pork chop from. Over here I have my pasta and I have my oil and medium heat and I have my heavy cream and my parmesan shredded cheese. Okay, shredded, 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 shredded. parmesan cheese. Is it? Mm -hmm. So you know you see a boy Shane or speak a chef standing in the kitchen. Nigel! Here! Say hi! I love you! Triangle, triangle, triangle. Yeah. yeah, he's doing his own thing as usual. But yeah, let's get to this thing now. Alright. So I'll show you a method to test your pot if it's hot. Don't see nothing. I mean, the pot needs to hot more. Okay, all right. So I'll come back to you when I have this seasoning in. Okay, so you see your seasoning and everything. Sauteing. I wish I had like red bell pepper in this to make the color more, you know, stand out. Yeah, but this is okay. So, seasoning the saute and everything. What you want to do is um, you add your pork chop to it. You saute for a minute. So you do that, you want to pour your heavy cream in. Beautiful, right? So you left that to you know, boil to custard before you add your pasta in. In and as you see, you can see the heavy cream start to boil. That's what you want to see before you add your pasta in. Yeah. Normally we don't use spoon. Where I used to work, you don't use spoon. You just hold the pot like this. You shake it you know and you flip you know but i don't want to mess the kitchen up because that stove we used to we used to use was a commercial stove where you know it doesn't matter if it messed up you know there's someone in the restaurant to just clean up after you know but i'm just gonna take it easy with this one and i'm gonna use my spoon even though i don't use a spoon now because as you see my meat is covered with the cream so do my vegetable and so forth so now that you see it um, boiling like this it's now to add your pasta in add in your pasta like that and you know you can just shake be careful I don't want the stove to mess up so let me just stir it instead of shake okay so this is what your pasta looks like 
Mm -hmm. So you just leave this. Make sure all your pasta are coated with the cream. Mm -hmm. And this will look so beautiful with some wet red um, bell pepper on it. Trust me. The more um, colorful your pasta is, you know, because sometimes take um, looks presentation is what sells food. Yeah, so you see what's going on. Mm -hmm. You see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we're not gonna do it at the restaurant. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Creamy, right? Beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me get my pasta throw out now. And this is how your pasta should look when you finish. Yeah. So you know it's your boy Shane Harris PKA Chef Stanner in the kitchen. You know, thank you for joining me. Yeah, peace, love, and respect. Beautiful, right? Jerk, oven grill, pork chop, pasta.